Hello guys, so finally after a very long wait, I'm going to review the Lenovo 6000 which I used for more than a week. I would say 10 days, around 10 days and I have to say that the device is very good. The display, the battery, the build quality, the sound on the device is excellent and at 7000 there is no other device which can beat Lenovo 6000 right now. I know Redmi 2 is launched but I did not get my hands on that device so currently I would say Lenovo 6000 is the best device you can buy at 7000 uh, but before saying this I should review the phone right yeah so let's start with the build quality and I have to say that the build quality is excellent the phone feels very good in hand the back panel is not at all fingerprint magnet it feels very good and the phone does not slip out of hand while you hold the phone and as the phone is of just 5 inches the size is perfect and it perfectly fits into my hand. I can reach every corner of the phone without even taking much efforts and that's surely a nice thing because with the phones of 5.5 inch display it's quite uncomfortable to hold them and handle them using only one hand but that's not the case with Lenovo 6000 and that's surely a plus point point. and when it comes to front display I have to say that the display is very good because at 5 inch 1280x720p resolution and at 7000 that's surely very good Redmi One S gave the same resolution at 6000 but Redmi One S had a lower end processor than the Nova 6000 Let's talk about display and the display is uh, really good The viewing angles on the display are surely nice There are no issues with the display whatsoever Even in direct sunlight you can view the display very nicely if you turn the brightness to the full And the lowest brightness possible is also good enough so that you can chat in the night also uh, After the lights are turned off obviously and the display is not covered with Gorilla Glass 3 but I somehow managed to use it without a scratch guard and I have to say that the display performed exceptionally well I used it uh, harshly I would say yes really harshly because I really wanted to test this device up to its uh, maximum level without using a scratch guard it did not get a single scratch on the screen and that's not Gorilla Glass 3 in the front uh, so that must be made by Lenovo I guess uh, or maybe by someone else but the glass performs exceptionally well uh, there were no issues with the glass so display performs exceptionally well according to me and there are no issues with that so after this let's talk about battery life because if the display is very good and the battery life is not so good you cannot view the display for a longer time but that's not the case with Lenovo 6000 at all the battery lasted me for a single day with very very heavy use on the first day when I used the phone I used the phone very normally I did not use it very very heavily and when I came back home, 40% of the battery was still remaining. I mean, after watching two, two hours of three hours of movies, one hour of Clash of Clans, around one hour of browsing, and still the device lasted so long. So on the next day, I used the device very heavily, and still the phone lasted very good. I have to say that I did not have to worry if the phone will be discharged by the evening because even after I came home, 10 or 20% of the battery was still remaining. And I have to say that Lenovo 6000 gave me the best battery life I have ever seen on a device. And thumbs up for that. After battery life comes a heating issue because if the battery life is excellent and the phone hits up up to a level on which you can't hold the device like Redmi One S, then there is no point in that. But in the case of Lenovo 6000, there is not even a single heating issue that I faced. Even after I played games for 20 minutes, I I literally played games for 20 minutes on the gaming review with different heavy games and those were really heavy games and the phone did not heat up at all and while we are talking about heating issue the gaming on the phone is really good the games do not lag I would say and uh, it can be a gaming device rather a very good gaming device because the 64 bit Snapdragon 410 and the 1GB RAM are sufficient for the Lenovo 6000 to run the software that's the Vive UI which is on the Lenovo 6000 so surely plus point for that and it can be a gaming device if you are a heavy gamer and you can even move apps and games to your external SD card but that's kind of problematic sometimes I did not use that option to move apps in the external SD card because it broke the compatibility of the some apps like if you are using any game with OBB5 like if you are going to install Injustice which has OBB5 then it will work fine but Subway Surfers or Temple Red 2 which do not have OBB file they have a data folder in the Android data folder Android slash data folder then the games give you issues but with the OBB files game uh, there, there was no issue so you might have to try your luck with that so I said so many good things about the phone till now I said only good things about the phone and one of the bad things about the phone is that the phone became extremely laggy I couldn't even swipe through the screens sometimes uh, 
I don't know why that happened. Then I figured out that uh, if I clear cash through recovery, the stock recovery, then the issue was fixed. I read it somewhere on the other device forum, and I tried that, and that worked. So I would suggest if you are going to buy Lenovo 6000 or if you are using Lenovo 6000, I have made a video on tips and tricks. So I'll give the link of that in the description below. So don't forget to check that out, and you can follow the instruction in that video, and you will be lag free. Your device will be lag free rather. And the software experience was not that good, I would say. Vibe UI is surely good. It's not heavily skinned, but the problem is that you have themes option, but that only has two themes. You cannot add themes or you cannot remove themes. So that's quite frustrating because uh, if there is themes option, then why cannot I add themes in that? I don't know why. And sometimes the software buttons completely stop responding. Like even if I press a back button, the back button wasn't getting pressed. Then I had to press the home button. Then if I press the options button, uh, that's for multitasking tray. Then the multitasking tray won't come. I don't know why. And I got three OT updates immediately after I unboxed the phone and still there was this issue. So yeah, I hope these are software issues. So Lenovo will be working on that and they will fix the issues in near future. And yes, the main thing about Lenovo 6000 is that, that it is having a Snapdragon 410 processor which is 64 bit processor and to completely utilize the 64 bit processor we need to have lollipop and Elon has promised to launch lollipop in near months like it will be launched in april they said april so it might be launched in may or june let's see when they launch i will surely try to make a video on lollipop whenever it's launched for Lenovo 6000 and one more important thing that's missing in the Lenovo 6000 that there is no led notification light and that's quite frustrating for me because uh, all the phones which i use I prefer to use LED notification light because only by looking at the phone you can tell if you need to pick up the device or not. But if there is no LED notification light then you have to pick up the device and even if there is no notification you have to unlock the device and see. But sometimes there is a notification but you do not see the device because you have already seen the device just one minute ago. And that's the problem without LED notification light. So I would have preferred LED notification light and I would have paid 100 rupees extra too for that. And now let's talk about the sound on the phone because Lenovo is advertising this phone as Dolby surround sound and Dolby twin speakers and I have to say that, that yes, the device has exceptionally good sound quality. The speakers in the back perform exceptionally well. I compared them with OnePlus One and uh, I played a guitar song and the strings of the guitar are completely distinct and very good on the Lenovo 6000 than OnePlus One. I have to say this because even after OnePlus One having the max audio, obviously that's more loud. OnePlus One is not bad but Lenovo 6000 was more clear, crisp. I will always prefer Lenovo 6000's uh, speaker because that, that gave up crisp and I always like to hear crisp sound and yes, so yeah, the phone performed exceptionally well in speaker department. And when it comes to audio jack output, uh, the 3.5mm audio jack and the phone performs good there too, there are no issues with that. And the headset provided with the Lenovo 6000, it's good, I won't say that it's the best. And if you're planning to buy any headphones from 500 to 600 or 800 rupees, then I have made some videos on the headphones, budget headphones rather. I'll give the link of those in the description below, so don't forget to check that out if you're planning to buy headphones. And even if you are not planning to buy headphones, you can check that out because that's surely a nice video. So guys, let's talk about the camera on the phone. And the rear facing camera is 8 megapixel. The front facing camera is 2 megapixel fixed focus camera. Unfortunately, the rear facing camera can shoot up to 720p only. You cannot record with 1080p. That's quite downside. And even the 720p videos are not that good. And the front facing camera is fixed focus camera, but the phone performs good there, I would say. And there are no issues with the front, both the cameras for casual photography. If you just share the photos on your social networking sites, then the phone is good for you. And the selfies captured with the phone are also good. I have made in detail guide on the camera. I will give the link of that too in the description below. So don't forget to check that out if you are interested in the camera department of Lenovo 6000. So guys, to sum up the review, I would say the phone has surely good hardware like Snapdragon 410 processor, 1GB of RAM 
and the phone does not perform like 1GB low end phone the phone performs like 1GB high end phone so that's surely a plus point for the Lenovo A6000 and I would say that the phone is missing in the software department only the phone performs exceptionally well in hardware department but in the future OT updates or the in the future software updates I hope Lenovo fixes all the issues and it will be very good to see a bug free software version on the Lenovo A6000 because then the phone will perform very well I would say so if you are planning to buy Lenovo A6000 then surely go for it I won't uh, I won't say that I cannot recommend it or I won't I do not have any other device in mind at 7000 price point that can beat Lenovo A6000 as of now so if you have stayed this long so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and if you like the video even more then don't forget to comment in the comment section below that you like this video or I need to improve on something else or if you if you have any questions or doubts regarding Lenovo 6000 then do let me know in the comment section below I would surely try to answer them and as usual don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because I am going to make many more videos and many more tech related videos so if you are interested in technology then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so thank you guys thank you for watching